Split Decision MMA UK down here in London at Cage Warriors 64. We're here with Daniel Crawford, who's just got a fantastic TKO victory in the second round. How did that go for you? So my third fight, I'm still learning all the time, still getting the feel of the ring and of the lights when they're on top of you. It's a different feeling. I can do stuff in the gym, but I might not be able to do it in the, in the cage. It's just a different feeling. And um, how have you adjusted to, like you say, getting used to it? In the gym, obviously, it's like a familiar setting, and then in front of all these people, how do you get like, around that? Uh, you can't really get around to it. That's why when you face experienced people, that's, that's a valuable asset. So that's how you, what you get with time. You can't just get that feel for the ring. You have to earn it. You have to get your, your stripes and badges to get that experience. And um, in the fight then, you know, you started really strong. Yeah. You were strong all the way through, yeah. but he came in with some takedowns yeah, and got yeah. a bit of wrestling. Was that, did that surprise you about him or were you expecting yeah. it? Uh, my, my, my corner said they would try to take me down. I, got, I, got, I think I got some, some good strikes on me. I could control the pace, so it would only make sense for him to close the distance and take me down. I was disappointed I got taken down. I pride myself on my wrestling a little bit. I want to use that more in my fights, but I don't get to show it. And um, as soon as you caught him with that right, you know, you dropped him, he, he, he just dropped like a, a ton reel and you were all over him. Did you know as soon as you got there the fight was going to be all over or? Um, I don't know. I don't, I hit him in the shot, but I don't think about, oh, he's hurt. I just, if I see he's hurt, I'm going to kill him, eat him up and whatever. I don't know. It's just in the moment of the fight, so. And, um, it was a great victory for you, like you say, it's all experience and, um, you know, your team here tonight, you know, how good are they for you, especially when you're in the cage, you know, just how much do they help you? Now, UFC standard uh, coaches right there. Every single one of them I've coached in the UFC, so I can only get benefit out of that. And, uh, have you got any other fights lined up, or is it just see what happens now you've got the see win? See what happens. Just keep training. I'm a gym rat, so I don't leave the gym. So, you know, whatever's next. That sounds a good lifestyle to have. And um, finally, is there anybody you want to thank or give a shout-out to? All the coaches at Lion Pratt, Lions Pride MMA, Team Red Dragons, all my coaches, Amy Madden, helps me introduce you, Dino Moringo, who came here tonight. My wrestling coach, Abdul Madarasi, is uh, everywhere, man. Friends, family, they know who they are. And, um, fantastic to see you fight. I hope I get the privilege of seeing you fight again soon. And thanks for your time. I hope I get the privilege of an interview again. <laughs> Thank you very much.